Okay, well, you know, when you go on these outpost trips, sometimes Brendan's <laughs> laughing as he's filming. Sometimes stuff happens, and you either deal with it, or you curl up under a bush and cry. And we're the former. So, um, just so everyone realizes, Plano trays are not just for uh, fishing lures anymore. We're, oh. Necessity is the mother of invention, right, Brent? Yeah. We made a paddle. There's only one paddle in this boat, and we're trying to paddle back to camp. So I've got it tied to this tree. <laughs> it's actually working pretty good. We're laughing about it now. I'm going to be crying later when I'm cramping up in my bed. Nah, it'll be funny. Well, my son is a chip off the old block. I've been paddling this giant tree with a Plano box attached to it for, well, quite some time now. And I'm pretty tired, so Bren's... It's all kind of rocky, slippery boulders. Yeah, he's, he's pulling us along. We still got a ways to go, but we'll make it. Well, it's been what, Bren, 12 straight hours now? I'm not sure. The cabin is actually straight ahead. You can you probably can't see it through those two little rock piles. The sun is sinking low on the horizon. My giant tree paddle, crafted with a Plano tray, has served me well on this ordeal. <laughs> Thank you, Plano. The end is in sight. It's like a horse that sees the finish line. It's been a long day of paddling. 12 hours. Pretty tired.